Ladies and gentlemen, familiar faces are showing up on the scene. Some people are saying that the last person we need to hear from is Larry Kudlow, flapping out both sides of his mouth. Lastly, the pre-election deal. Most people are saying, vote them all out. <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. What's up, everybody? This is your good news stimulus check update lighthouse community coming at you with another video. Pure excellence here. And if you're new to this community, then I welcome you back. And or well, if you're a subscriber to this community, I welcome you back. But if you're new, I invite you to subscribe. It's free. Now, today, President Trump told Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, um, he told him to increase the budget higher than the 1.8 trillion. And so now they have 1.9 trillion. You know, um, to compare to Nancy Pelosi's one point two point two trillion dollar uh, request, you know, the leader of the Senate, Mitch McConnell, he stated that he chooses to first shoot at passing the smaller size standalone skinny bill of five hundred billion dollars. Um, but of course, you know, that was uh, shot down dead on arrival. Um, so where are we at? You know, while we're getting blended messages from the president um, and the Senate Republicans, you know, the uh, stimulus package settlement continue through Friday, um, of course, with Nancy Pelosi, who is the leader of the Democrats and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. You know, now Nancy Pelosi, as you know, she composed that letter to her fellow Democrats the other day, you know, stating that assistance is, you know, on the uh, way, you know, which uh, the stimulus package will be more secure, bigger, much better. And of course, retroactive uh, if she can get it done. You know, the surveys that, you know, had Joe Biden in the controlling lead over President Trump for the election uh, are still going on. You know, um, they saying, you know, Trump actually looked bad in, in the debate. You know, that's what most people are saying. You saw it. What do you think? Uh, but Joe Biden's uh, project manager said that the polls are, you know, they tricky, which is, you know, he thinks actually it's going to be a tighter race. Uh, COVID-19 cases right now, you know, they're, they were increasing quickly in the United States. However, cases were increasing in Europe even more. Like I was saying the last time, you know, uh, um, you know, now I hope you're having an extremely nice day. Uh, let's begin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, President Trump said that, you know, he would be willing to invest more money on the stimulus package than that 1.8. So they jumped up to that 1.9. But President Trump, you know, he is not ready to go as high as 2.2 trillion. Though. So that contention is still at large. You know, that you know, that 2.2 that the Democrats are asking for. He just said he's not willing to do that. But uh, one of the points that um, was brought up in the debate is that you the president though why you got to wait on, on on nancy pelosi and he explained that well that's the way it's done if it wasn't done like that um you know i wouldn't wait so i mean what do you think you know and pelosi and mnuchin you know they negotiated um again you know at 3 30 for one hour and 22 minutes you know those two they ended up making minor edits on the stimulus package relating to the national strategic testing uh part of in the united states you know so uh while europe uh, cases are rising um they decided to actually go in there and make a couple of edits to how we're going to actually budget for testing now. We got to, you know, test more often to kind of control this thing and contact trace and, you know, that takes money. So they wanted to go in and discuss how they would deal with that. You know, now the leader of the Republicans, Mitch McConnell, uh, said that the Senate Republicans would not support a stimulus package greater than one point eight trillion dollars. But, you know, it went to one point nine trillion. So McConnell stated that the president is willing to go higher than the Senate Republicans are. You know, now McConnell stated that he would rather vote on a five hundred dollar stimulus, a five hundred billion dollars excuse standalone skinny bill um, that offered money, you know, to the self-employed and small businesses. Um, which is basically a second round of PPP and, you know, they're concentrated on hospitals, schools and legal liability protection. You know, now, please note that if there is an agreement, there was an agreement actually in between the Republicans and the Democrats, then the stimulus package would not need all the votes of the Senate uh, Republicans in order to pass the stimulus bill. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, that's if some or all of the Senate Democrats remain in favor. You know, nevertheless, uh, President Trump, you know, reacted by stating that he's ready to 
sign a huge, lovely stimulus. And he stated that he would encourage the Senate Republicans that are backing him to, you know, to back him on a more expensive stimulus package, you know, and that way uh, everybody could be happy. But President Trump, you know, stated that uh, if the White House agreed to uh, to uh, the Democrats, you know, the Senate Republicans would uh, get in line and back him. Um, now, you know, I do want to mention that President Trump blames China for the whole scenario. And he stated that a couple of times in the uh, debate. And President Trump um, insists that China will be paying for this stimulus package. You know, nevertheless, in reality, we know that would never happen. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I simply, you know, desire you, you know, I just want you to uh, be aware of what, you know, our president is saying. You know, I don't like the, uh, you know, I don't like to say it ever, but however, you know, it is very and highly not likely that, you know, that'll never take place, that, that'll ever take place where China actually pays. You know, that's just my view, you know, but President Trump is likewise saying that Nancy Pelosi is purposefully declining the stimulus package deal since she doesn't want to give him a win and make him look good right prior to the election. You know, Nancy Pelosi's action is that the Republicans ought to move up their their uh, their quote to the two point two trillion dollars, you know, in order to make themselves looking to look good, you know, going into this election. You know, Pelosi informed the Democratic caucus on last Thursday that the House Democrats have maximum, you know, uh, uh, utilization now, you know, which the uh, Republican offer is, you know, is inadequate. And in Pelosi's letter to her co-workers, you know, she guaranteed her constituents that, you know, help is on the way. Pelosi said that the stimulus package would be more secure, larger, better, and that it, it'll be retroactive. Those are the words. And that's what we're looking at, you know, that it's going to be retroactive. You know, Pelosi said that the arguments are more than simply dollars and cents. You know, they're about worths, you know, the worth of the American people and good sense and, and regard for their lives, the, the income, you know, the bills they got to pay. This is what she says. And the life of our American democracy, you know, she's basically saying that passing this stimulus is a uh, indicator that we are a democracy, that we take care of our people. Now, the stimulus package negotiations, they still continue today. I mean, we're in the weekend and, uh, you know, the major products or the major points of contingency uh, and products stand to be worked out consist of state and local government financing, just like I was saying before, and uh, corporate tax credits and tax credits for people and, you know, funding for the post office and funding for the census and liability defense, you know, proceeding to political news, uh, though. You know, President Trump, um, he stated that he, you know, he's hopeful for a serene transfer of power if he loses the election, but he continues to raise issues about voter scams and, you know, how this is going to be the worst sense of voter fraud, you know, you know, so he's basically just sounding like he's prepared for, you know, something to go wrong. Um, what do you think in the comments? You know, President Trump says that he hopes he wins so that he does not even need to handle, you know, that kind of scenario, but the surveys, they have Joe Biden in the lead in double digits, right? Even after the debate, you know, however, Joe Biden's campaign supervisor, uh, Jen Dillon, you know, she said that the elections will be far closer than the survey, you know, states. Um, so even though it's looking like it's double digits for Joe Biden right now, his campaign is they, they, they know they're not at the finish line now. Um, and they looking for it to be a tight race. You know, Dylan said, you know, his campaign, Joe Biden's campaign manager and supervisor, she said that, you know, despite the fact that Biden has a mainly nationally national lead, you know, the lead is much smaller sized than the battlefield states. You know, there's some states that are fully Trump. And, um, these are the states that Dylan is basically looking at and saying, and hey, you know, it's going to be close there. And Dylan says that uh, the uh, the race is far closer than a lot of folks, a lot of folks think, you know what I'm saying? So concerning the Supreme Court election, again, you know, the Senate, uh, they have now formally arranged to elect October um, 22nd for the nomination of uh, Judge Amy Barrett to the Supreme Court. Um, and again, in COVID-19 cases in the United States, we reported 63,610 new cases. And uh, the other day it was 820 uh, casualties on Thursday. And now it's going up to 900. 33. Um, you know, hopefully it doesn't grow no more, but uh, this is according to Johns Hopkins University uh, tally. You know, cases in Europe, of course, just as I was saying, they're increasing at a quicker speed than in the United States, though. You know, countries that are reporting brand new daily high case counts consist of Germany and the Czech Republic. Now, even Russia is uh, reporting its highest single day increase. Poland is reporting its highest day-to-day -day fatalities. You know, the medical uh, the medical neighborhood, you know, the in medicine itself, you know, they are saying that COVID-19 
19 is actually increasing and you know it's uh expected to become worse since well, number one the winter is coming uh with the cooler weather you know condition more individuals will be indoors where the infection is simpler to uh send from person to person you know two companies in areas uh they have been easing you know limitations such as the requirement to use a face mask and three um you know individuals you know have actually worried or, or uh you know they weary of of all the limitations and they are you know letting their guard down you know when you hear about all of this uh you know them dropping you know the requirement for face masks and then raising the requirement for first for face masks you know people get weary and uh they you know begin to kind of let you know let that mask slip a little bit down under their nose and then you know next thing you know um uh, they're not protected so this is understood you know or they're calling uh they're actually calling it covid tires uh <laughs> so a new disease on top of the disease um so that's the news for the day and uh if you discovered this report you know, as you were scrolling and we came up and search and you just clicked on it, you know, again, I invite you to subscribe um, and stay subscribed because I'm going to keep you updated to the minute. As I know more, I'll let you know. Uh, I'll save you the time by giving it to you concise and uh, I give you any recommendations when applicable. Uh, you know, thanks a lot. And uh, just like I say, we in the weekend, you know, probably going into Monday right now. Um, I just want you to know to stay safe and. Uh, just know that you're a winner, regardless of all the manipulation and, uh, you know, all the uh, political, the, all the things being used as political weapons against you, actually getting your money back, uh, getting the, the, the needed money that you need to pay your bills and, you know, uh, businesses getting the money they need to actually keep going and do their payroll and, you know, children um, being able to get, you know, the testing and everything right so we can keep our children safe and our elderly safe. Just know that. Through all of that, you're a winner. And in the end, we will win. Let's pull through this, folks, together. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.